Hello, welcome to Como Live, brought to you by the Legacy Amendment. My name is Kelsey. I am the Public Engagement Coordinator here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. On today's Como Live, we are celebrating International Women's Day, which is tomorrow, March 8th. International Women's Day is a day set aside to reflect on the progress made by women, celebrate their accomplishments, and look towards the future. The theme for this International Women's Day is gender equality for a sustainable tomorrow. Hi everyone, I'm Adam. I'm a hoofstock keeper here at the zoo, as well as the chair of the Como Equity Change Team. Um, we have a lot of incredible women who work here at the zoo in every level from our frontline staff all the way to our campus manager. Um, and today we've invited some of them to share their stories, share what they're doing in their their work here at the zoo as well as at home uh, to support a sustainable future. Hi, I'm Amanda Jamison, Events Coordinator for Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. Through our special events, we share our love for plants and animals. Throughout our events here on campus, we host conservation events, we host events inside our conservatory, as well as outside in our garden, so that our neighbors and those around the world can learn more about our education programs and how we help save the planet. Hi, I'm Ariel, one of the gardeners here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory, and I have the pleasure of designing sunken garden flower shows. And I think that sustainability is extremely important. I do a lot for the planet in my personal life, but professionally at work, I look for ways to increase efficiency and only produce what we need for flower shows, and also hope to reuse as much as possible. For example, when we're growing annuals, we'll reuse the containers that we grow them in. These pots get washed, and when they're broken and no longer reusable, they get recycled. Sustainability is in everything we do here, and we're always looking for ways to do more. Hi, my name is Erin, and I'm one of the education specialists here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. And one way I help with sustainability is I help educate people of all ages of different types of conservations and different knowledges of different plants and animals around the world. Hi, my name is Jill Erzar. I'm a hoofstock keeper here at Como Zoo. So I take care of the animals such as the giraffe and all the other animals with hooves. And I was gonna talk a little bit about what I do at home to create a sustainable life. So a lot of times we struggle with what to tell people, how you can help. And I found with myself, I really struggled, I just had a baby, and I struggled with all of the baby stuff that wasn't sustainable. Most of the bottles are plastic, most of the diapers are plastic. So I started doing some research and I found some things in my home life that I wanted to share. So at home, we started using glass bottles because they're all recyclable. And we also started using bamboo products. So bamboo is a quick growing plant, it's very sustainable, it's also compostable. So I put my daughter in bamboo diapers. Um, she has no diaper rash, and I know that they break down in about three to four months in a landfill, or they can be composted versus 100 to 200 years with plastic diapers. Hi, I'm Kaya Lee, and I'm a visitor service attendant here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. I support sustainability by being pretty strict with my family about cutting up six pack holders uh, with the scissors all the way, the big ones and the little ones, before they throw them in the garbage can so that they can't get caught on any sea turtles or any other little animals um, and cause damage to them. As much as I love New York City, I hate these bags. And so we recycle all plastic bags at our house too that might end up um, in our home. And thank you so much. Hello everybody, my name is Jen. I work here in the maintenance department here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory in St. Paul. And one way that I like to practice sustainability both at work and in my home life is through recycling. I really have always believed in recycling, so both here at work, try to make sure that we take care of all the recycling properly that our guests leave behind. Um, and also in my home life, try to make sure that I'm always doing my part to recycle. Hi, I'm Jackie Stika, president of Como Friends. Como Friends is a nonprofit partner of Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. We operate the retail function and do fundraising to support programs, improvements, improvements and animal operations here at Como. 
One of the things that we fund is sustainability initiatives at the zoo and the conservatory. A couple of the things that we've recently supported is the soon to be rollout of composting of food waste for the public. We supported recycling of the nitrile gloves that can be con then uh, re converted into park benches. And also the installation of water bottle filling stations so that to try to eliminate as many one-time use uses of plastic bottles. And in our operations at, in, at Como Friends, we try to incorporate sustainability into our fundraising and retail work. So for example, our, our gala Sunset Affair, we feed between 250 and 550 people a year. And if we're going to serve fish, we ensure that our caterer follows the seafood watch guidelines so that the fish is sustainably caught. In the gift shop, something you may not know is we've changed some of the merchandise we bring in to limit the amount of plastic in the packaging or to minimize packaging. And we also have begun purchasing more items that are made from recycled materials. And all of that is to try to advance sustainability in support of the zoo and the conservatory and in sort of support of our mission to help Como to thrive for generations to come. Hi, I'm Michelle Furr, the director and campus manager here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. Some of the things that we do in our household is to reduce, reuse, and recycle. We also take advantage of being the last ones to turn our air conditioning on and the last ones to turn our heat on in the winters and springs. We also, at our home, do Meatless Mondays. That's something we, I do every day, but when I have guests over, we do Meatless Mondays. Thank you to all the staff at Como for continuing to empower women and girls to have a seat at the table and be equally involved in working towards a sustainable tomorrow. And a special thank you to all the women at Como who do such amazing work every single day. Happy International Women's Day.